afternoon. So today we are going to go on a bit of a road trip. And when I say we, I meant the lazy girl that's laying on the floor and myself. So we are actually going to be heading out of Colorado Springs today and we are going to go check out a man, let's see, if I remember right, it's a one man build castle. And so I want you guys to come along. So let's go. Go. Oh, just gotta pee first. Let's go, let's go bye bye. Let's go for a ride. Come on, Bill, let's go for a ride. Let's go bye bye. Get up there, go on. Go on, you can do it. You can do it. Go, 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 old lady, go. Two more feet. There you go. So I am here at this castle. And it is right behind me, right there. So we are going to go take a look. We're going to try to go all the way up there. Don't know because I am afraid of heights, but I'm going to try to go as far as I can. And you guys are coming along. So let's go explore this.
Okay, so I decided to go to another staircase, which is this one. It's a little bit, I feel like it's a little bit more better because it's wider. It's definitely a wider area, so. <sighs> Let's go check it out. And then we have the globe, which you can see somebody's all the way up there. Let's see if I can get the sun out. There we go. You have the globe and you have the spire, which I'm gonna zoom in. Don't know how that kid's doing that. But that's insane. Oh, and by the way, all of this exploring is literally, you know, enter at your own risk. So if that kind of, oh gosh, this is all enter at your own risk. So that kind of explains, there we go, kind of explains that this probably isn't the safest castle to be climbing. So these are the steps to get up on top of the drawbridge. Nothing to hold you, nothing to secure yourself for this bar. This bar is wobbly, so. All right, so that is Bishop's Castle. Extremely scary. I would probably only do that maybe with some friends or family, but I will not go back and go to the very top like they oh gosh there you are oh when i go to the very top it is way too scary we are gonna go for a little swim or at least she is gonna go for a little swim at san isabel and we'll stay there for a couple hours and then we will make our way home right bell wanna go swimming okay let's go swimming so we are here at St. Isabel, and we're kind of here by this little brook, which is kind of nice. Belle loves it, because she can walk in it and get her feet cooled. Um, however, it is starting to rain, so I think we may have to cut our trip a little short today, because um, I left my windows down in my car. So um, with that, I think we're gonna head up and go back home. Um, this is a fantastic place though. If you guys ever are able to get up here, there's a ton of camping areas, ton of nature, ton of brooks, and um, just, it's just very, very cool. So, and it's starting to actually come down. So I need to go grab my car and get my windows um, rolled up. And with that, we are off very quickly. Very quickly, come on bellies. And without, without, I'm off. So I will talk to you guys later. Hello again. So I was really hoping 
that I could show you a little bit of San Isabel. Um, but unfortunately due to the rain that all of a sudden came in and is still currently, well, it just stopped now. Anyway, but um, since it, it did come through, I had to rush back to my car because I had left my uh, windows down. But yeah, it is a very, very, very pretty area. It's nice and peaceful, it's quiet, it's very woodsy. It's, I mean, like, like uh, you saw, there's like a little stream that goes through. Um, and it's a very, very large portion of land that you can um, camp on. So you really don't see very many neighbors. So I kind of wanted to explain that situation, why I really had to rush out, because it started coming down. And then, oh, and it started again. Um, and with that, I am think I'm going to finish my drive home. Um, I will look up that information about uh, Bishop's Castle and about Isabel uh, Park, about the fees, and let you know. So, I am off, and we will see you very, very, very shortly. I want to do a quick recap of my video today and let you know some of the facts that I came across on the Bishop's Castle and um, of, Isabel, of San Isabel uh, Lake. So, first, San Isabel, they do have passes that you can purchase, like annual passes, um, and they've got a variety of different types of passes. Senior passes, senior with disability passes, uh, disability passes, uh, you can purchase those um, any time of the year and they are good for a full year. The daily passes that I was mentioning before is $7 per day per car. Um, so anybody can just go in, pay $7 and you're good to go. So that's for that. Now, Bishop's Castle is it's quite an interesting story. So back in 1969, well, back even before then, um, when he was like Jim Bishop, when he was uh, 15 years old, he had his parents purchase the two and a half acres that the castle is currently built on. And then of course they would go and do camping trips and summer vacations at that property. When he was 25 years old, uh, this was back in 1969, he had started building a cabin, a stone cabin for him and his wife. So from 1971 to current, he has been building this castle. If you do go there and uh, walk around the site, because uh, it is totally free. He does have a donation bucket, but it is totally free for the public. And you will see a lot of construction that is still going on. So it's still a work in progress, if you want to say. The castle itself is just about 160 feet tall. And it's pretty, it's pretty structural sound, sounding. It's pretty solid. But those signs just put that fear in you when it's like, enter at your own risk and all this fun stuff. It just starts getting very uh, mental than actual physical. So, but if you do end up going there, it's, it's a pretty spectacular sight to see. Um, the dragon that is on the front of the castle, kind of uh, off of the ballroom, that actually breathes fire at night. And unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't get to see it. I, I'm for sure that's spectacular. So I may have to see that. Anyway, that is kind of the recap of Bishop's Castle. Again, something to see if you're ever down here. It's a quick, maybe 30, 45 minute side trip, but definitely something to see. So with that, 
I think I'm going to finish this by saying thank you for watching my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe. And I think the little subscribe button is over here. Make sure to subscribe and check out my other videos right now.